Hello everyone, I am Pallak Lakhani. In this channel, I make educational videos focusing mainly on studying, working and living in Germany. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. So in today's video, we have Oli with us. She is pursuing her master's in biology from uh, Martin Luther University of Halle Wittenberg. She will be telling in detail about her course, which will help all of you uh, to apply to this particular course in uh, MLU. So let's get started with today's video. Please, first of all, welcome to my channel. Hi. And could you please introduce yourself to the viewers? So, my nickname is Oli, but my actual name is Olga Kühn. And I am a master student of uh, biology here at the Martin Luther Universität Halle Wittenberg. And uh, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Great. The very first question would be uh, what are the other similar courses that are offered in Germany and uh, to how many courses did you apply? Um, when I applied for my course here, um, there was similar courses, for example, in the surrounding uh, universities like um, the Universität of Jena, Leipzig, Berlin, um, Frankfurt, Cologne. I also applied for my master's, but in the end, I choose um, this place for personal reasons. Okay. Why do you think should uh, students choose this particular course? Well, first of all, we have a broad variety of uh, different biological topics. Like, for example, we have courses about genetics, microbiology, um, biochemics, um, zoology, mm -hmm. botanic topics. And uh, this is why, in the end, I also choose the Martin Luther Universität because I could go in so many different directions and I didn't have to focus just on microbiology or okay. genetics. So. Great. What are the admission requirements uh, that are needed to get to this course? Well, um, <laughs> you should have also good marks. That is a good uh, start. Like, uh, I was not the best student, I have to say, but um, you should have like a mark about uh, 2.5. Okay. Yeah. And else um, you have to write a motivation letter when you apply and um, you have to focus that you are staying in the time of the application so that um, in the end you don't miss the date and okay. it will be like a big mess <laughs> Oli is not an international student she is from uh, like Germany so she didn't uh, require to give IELTS or GRE but if you are an international student applying for this course then you will of course need to give IELTS and you will also need to prove your German language skills so keep that in mind before applying to this particular course so my next question would be that uh, your courses are in English or in German or hybrid um, most of the time like my courses were all in English but uh, this was uh, the case because all my professors were like international professors. Like okay. one was from Portugal, one was from America. And uh, my current, uh, my supervisor professor is from Britain. So like a lot of British and yeah. English citizens uh, teaching here. But um, you shouldn't be like taking that for granted. A lot of courses are, will also be uh, teached in German. So you have to look it up before you apply for the okay. course what kind of teaching language in the end it will be. Okay, great. How should a student apply? Is it via Uniasis or directly to the university? You can do both. We have a thing called Immatriculationsamt. There are assistants who help you with your applications. Okay. If you have any problems, you can write them an email, call them. Of course, when you are um, currently living yeah. not living here it's a bit expensive but so write an email <laughs> they will apply uh, reply and um, so but you can also do it directly the only thing you have to keep in mind is that you have to write this uh, motivation letter and uh, it should it should be it should be not not too long like okay. one page is enough okay. yeah as we were discussing, you also told that this course is available in summer semester also, right? So, uh, when should a student apply and what are the deadlines? Um, 
a student can apply for summer and winter semester. It is depending on what you're interested in and when the course is given. Most of the time, like when you have a certain course, like for example genetics, and it's just given in winter, then you should apply for the winter semester okay. because then you would have to wait half a year until you get into the course. Yeah. So it would be smart if you look it up and look when the courses are starting. Um, currently the deadlines are a bit wonky because of the current situation yeah. so like always look like on the website of the ha uh, Martin Luther University when uh, courses are available and when are the deadlines okay yeah great what are the semester fees that are charged at present in University of Halle the semester fees are currently like for a semester about 250 euros but um, the thing is most of the money goes to like the semester ticket yeah and the rest of the money just for um, university staff members which are helping you in the end mm -hmm. and uh, you don't really have these big fees like you have like in America or in Britain like you have pay thousands of euros <laughs> I was just shocked when like like friends were telling me that and I was just like oh. <laughs> <"Whoa."> <laughs> yeah no like like we are pretty cheap <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, what study areas and modules uh, does a student learn in this course so like for the master of science in biology you can apply for genetics microbiology biochemics, zoology, what I'm currently doing. Then there's also a bioinformatic course, for example, where you learn programming, like in R, which helps you later with like spatial modeling. Then I have also, when I went also into a nature protection mm -hmm. course, which uh, had great, which was great. Like we went like to a lot of national parks, we learned how to, um, like uh, how these national parks work and like for example i went to portugal which is great um so yeah what else there are so many directions in like the biology courses yeah. in this biology course which you can take and uh, you can also like there are free courses required for your masterpiece but you of course can do more like okay. they are not you don't just have to choose like three courses for the whole thing you can do more if you have the time or if you want to invest time in more courses so yeah okay good do students get a chance to choose an elective subject yes like actually you're electing all your subjects so like in the end you just have like to see when the application date is apply get a seat in the course and that's it like, and then aren't there any compulsory modules like if every module is elective then you have like you have to choose free modules but okay like it depends those, upon you yeah it depends okay. upon you like okay. you don't have this strict direction ah, okay. you have to do genetics you have to do microbiology Understood. no this is the great thing about yeah, that's good, <laughs> this actually. course yeah. how are the exams usually conducted in which format um, my exams were all presentations, like okay. oral exams. I had to present what I have done in this course. But there are also written exams, which uh, most of the time apply for the more like theoretical courses or for microbiology and mm -hmm. genetics. Okay. So yeah, if you want to choose them beforehand ask if the course is in English that is very important and if you can take the exam in English okay. if you are not confident to speak and uh, to read and write in German. Okay. Okay. Uh, which softwares does a student learn during this course and also like which softwares would you recommend students to learn before applying for this course? Um, actually not a lot. I would say you can start with R that is like the most common program and like programming program um, used in the biology and uh, other else than that maybe like office programs Excel is very important okay. to like get structure in your data word of course um, so very basic if you you 
except for R, I couldn't think of something else because you learn everything in the master course if you need it. Okay, great. What uh, research facilities and uh, laboratories does your department have? My department has two labs, a B lab, which is a lab for a little bit more dirty work. Yeah, you get like earth in there and like you work with the bees. And then you have like a more, um, let's say, a more cleaner lab where you do genetic analysis, QPCR, stuff like that. Okay. Uh, are there any mandatory internships for students in this course? Yeah, before you write your master thesis, you should get uh, two internships the, from two different departments. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And they shouldn't be uh, the continuation of each other. They should be different, right? They should be different. Like, for example, I did mine in IDEF. Uh, this is uh, Institute in Leipzig. Okay. And uh, the other one here in the Zoology Institute. Okay, great. How can students apply for internship or thesis? Most of the time when you do a course with a professor and you like the professor, you can ask him if I can do an internship with him. That is how like most of the application processes work. But if you, for example, want to work in a department which you didn't have a course in, first of all, you call, you introduce yourself, and then you write an application. Okay. What are the future scopes after completion of this course? Yeah, that is a good question. <laughs> um, I'm currently applying for different jobs, like for example, um, in laboratories, like for the industry. Of course, you can do always a PhD afterwards, yeah. but if you want uh, solid time laboratory work, because that is what is implied with uh, biologists, and else you can also go um, into the zoo, for example, like as a research assistant in the zoo and or a researcher in the zoo, of course. Then you can apply for different institutes like the Max Planck Institute, Julius Kühn Institute, um, Robert Koch Institute. Yeah. Those things are, of course, possible options. And if you are not stuck, let's say, in one area and just want a uh, to expand for example in Europe there are a lot of options like to work in different universities and mm. as a PhD student or of course as a technician as a assistant for a professor so you have a okay. big variety so, of jobs you can apply for great and uh, what salary can one expect after the end of this course it depends on the job <laughs> When you are working for the uh, German government, for example, that is, of course, the jackpot yeah. for a <laughs> biology student in the end, it can get up to 3,000 euros a month. Oh. But, of course, if you start a little bit lower, like in a smaller lab somewhere else, maybe mm, 1,500 euros a month. Okay, yeah. great. Thank you so much, Oli, for this uh, <laughs> detailed insight about your course. And uh, I hope it helps all of you to decide if you want to pursue this course from Germany or not. So if you have any further doubts, feel free to write them in the comment section below and we will try to answer them. So that's it for this video guys. Uh, see you in the next video. Till then bye, take care and stay safe.